Good day everyone and welcome to 2021. In this The Wisdom series, I will now begin a new format. I will start from the first book of the Bible and read it with explanations as and when God gives it to me. It will be read from the original 1611 King James Bible. And the idea is to try and read through the whole Bible, starting at the beginning. <laughs> so it's going to be a long series, folks. The first book of Moses called Genesis. Genesis 1 from verse 1 to 31. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. This is why the Israelites' day starts when the sun goes down. Why the Sabbath starts on a Friday at sundown and lasts until Saturday at sundown. Note that God only divided light from darkness on the first day. There was no heavenly bodies yet, like the sun and the moon and so on. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. Alright, so God made the firmament, or heaven, on the second day. This is the atmosphere. Note that there was water above the atmosphere. Because this will be important when we get to the flood story later in this series. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass and herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. Here we see the land and sea, as well as plants being created on the third day. See how God makes everything before He makes man? This is so that everything will be ready for man to enjoy when He arrives. It was all created to be beautiful and perfect just for man. And this, even before man existed. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven, to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons, and for days and years. Now, historian or atheistic historians and scholars like to say that a year was not the same back then as it is now. That a year in Genesis was much shorter than we have it today. This is absolute nonsense, as this verse clearly states that these lights in the sky will be used to calculate seasons and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven, to give light upon the earth, and it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule in the day, and the lesser light to rule at night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven, to give light upon the earth, and to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness, and God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. The sun and the moon was created on fourth day, and for good measure, God threw in the stars as a bonus. He said that it would be for signs. Remember the story of Jesus' birth? 
how the wise men followed a star to find the baby of Jesus? Interesting, isn't it? And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that have life and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the water brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind, and God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let fowl multiply the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of the earth, and every tree in which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. And so every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat. And it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. God created all land-dwelling creatures on the sixth day, including man. He makes a distinction between man and the rest of the living creatures by creating man in his image and also by giving man dominion over all the rest of creation. Already, one can see the love that God has for us, right at the beginning of everything. Created in His image means so much. One meaning is that we are to be His representatives here on this special and perfect creation. I say perfect creation because it, this, at this point in Scripture, Man did not yet sin, and therefore the earth has not yet been cursed. There was also no death, no, nothing had died yet. Man and beast ate plants for sustenance and not flesh. Creation was perfect. Now this is also prophetic because at the end of time, God will again make His creation perfect. Remember the promise of a new heaven and a new earth, where, he will, where we will reign with Christ for a thousand years. People say that one should not take the Bible, and especially the creation story, literally. I really believe that we can and should. God would not tell us something to confuse us. If the creation story cannot be believed as being true in every word of it, then the rest of the Bible should also be in question. We live in a broken world that we broke. We cannot look at the laws governing this world and apply it to God and His perfect creation and then say that miracles are magic and therefore does not exist. God will come again with a new heaven and a new earth. He promises that the babe will again lead the lion and wolf. A total res reset to how creation was intended to be, like in this book of Genesis. Now who doesn't want to be a part of that promise? Thanks again for watching. Please do not forget to leave a donation. The description now to do so will follow. Also feel free to leave a comment 
I will try to answer them as best as I can. And share people, please share my videos with everyone you know. Thanks in advance for the support and God bless. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified of our next video. You can help us create better videos by leaving a donation on Patreon. The link is in the description. Thank you. We hope to see you next time.